welcome to this newest video on the Proximus Gaming YouTube channel. My name is Michael and in this video I will show you exactly how to get both pieces of the Archaic Armor set. This set is containing the Archaic Legwear and the Archaic Tunic. As an extra I will also show you how to find the Archaic Warm Greaves, which weirdly enough is not officially a part of this set. Anyways, are you ready? Then let's roll the intro. We start at the very beginning, when Raru blessed us with his hand to keep us alive. As soon as we are free to move, pick up the decayed Master Sword. Tch, of course you know exactly what to do, since this really is the beginning of the beginning of the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And everyone came past this. When you have the sword, go to the vines and use the sword to cut them so you can walk through them. Go to this activated panel and activate. It will trigger a transport device. It will start moving things and it will open the door. That is exactly what we need to continue. Now just keep getting forward. Jump down here, swim towards the edge and climb out. Climb up here, walk through this cave, and jump down again. Swim to the edge again, walk to the edge and jump off. Alright, now for the last time, swim towards the edge, climb out, and there's a treasure chest. Inside the treasure chest, the very first part that we need, the archaic legwear. Simple classic legwear. They're well worn and showing their age, but they still get a few years left in them. It can be a bit cumbersome to have to tie the straps. All right, now that we have them, open your inventory and equip them. First part complete, up to the next. For the second piece, we start at the west part of the Great Sky Island, to be precise, at the Inn Isa Shrine. Walk down here, these stairs, and take a turn to the right. There's an enemy there, which we can easily defeat with the right weapons. Well, pick up everything that it's dropping, because especially at the beginning of the game, everything we can collect is useful. Also the shrooms. Jump down here. Try to keep close to the ledge. That keeps it easier and to avoid enemies, as far as we can. Open a chest and a solder reaper is inside, with a strength of 7, which is a very strong weapon at this part of the game. Just go this way, get the shrooms here. Climb up. And go inside this cave. The pond side cave to be precise. Pick up also some bright bloom seeds. They will be coming very useful. Sure to kill the enemies. Kill whatever they're dropping. Geese eyeball, geese wing, and more eyeballs. There's our very first bubble frog of the game. Shoot it. 
and shoot it again or just hit it. And our first bubble gem. Go to the left side of this part. There are some more keys there. Oh, nice. Two in one shot. And there we can find our second piece in a treasure chest. The archaic tunic, old fashioned upper body wear. It's got some holes, but the soft cloth feels good to the touch. It's hard to keep it wrinkle free. Equip it and the official armor set, the official archaic armor set is complete. For the extra, we're going to the east part of the Great Sky Island. To be precise, at the Gutenbach Shrine in the snow area. From the shrine, go to the right here. Go stand underneath this part. Use the ascent ability that we received inside the shrine and walk inside. There's a treasure chest and inside the treasure chest. Exactly. The archaic warm greaves. Warm greaves believed to be from a very long time ago. Despite the old look, the heat retaining material makes it pleasantly resistant to cold temperatures. Very nice. Now we can equip that one. The first three armor pieces of the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom now in our possession. If you like this video, then please give this video a thumbs up. That helps with the discoverability of this video a lot. And when you're there, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss my upcoming videos and my upcoming other awesome content. I want to thank you for watching. This was Michael, signing off now. See ya.